Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get down. When I say getting down, I'm not talking about getting down in the bedroom. I'm talking about getting down on the golf course. Getting down like Jake Knapp and Wyndham Clark. This move will not only increase your performance on the golf course, it may even increase your performance in the bedroom. He's lying! Now obviously I know everyone here is trying to get down in the bedroom, but the reality is you can't get down in the bedroom if you don't hit bombs. So we gotta get down in the swing to be able to get down in the bedroom. If we break down recent PGA Tour winners, Jake Knapp and Wyndham Clark's golf swings, one of the things they both do very well is they lower through the transition, okay? So if we look at their swing closely, the first half of the backswing, they're moving up, okay, to about waist high. Now, the second half of the backswing, as they continue to turn, once they get to the top, they're actually already lowering. Now, the byproduct is the lowering motion is going to load the trail hip, okay? So you can see my body reflexing, getting closer to the ground. So now my trail hip is loaded. And ultimately, because I'm getting closer to the ground, something has to change from a radius standpoint. So if I go to the top and I lower and I continue to rotate as I lower and my tendency is to cast the club, the byproduct is I'm going to throw these wrist angles out which we don't want, especially when it comes to creating speed. So typically the body will respond as the golfer lowers through the transition by storing more lag or more wrist angle, which you can see that both Jake Knapp and Wyndham Clark have in their swing. So when I talk about this, this reminds me of a very famous move that we used to see Tiger Woods make. Uh, it looks something like this where he'd go to the top and he would reflex his pelvis back and ultimately by doing that you can see his upper body is getting closer to the ground which is something that we want to see now i absolutely love that and there's nothing that the goat can do that i would disagree with the only tweak that i would make to that is as you work on lowering your body down let this right leg reflex just a little bit okay so this is one of the things we love to preach over on hipbobs.com is not only allowing the trail hip to reflex, but allowing the trail leg to flex as well, okay? Obviously, if we look at a lot of the guys on tour, that trail leg is reflexing. It's not straight in the downswing. And one of the ways we like to implement this into your swing is simply by doing some one-arm swings with a specific focus on getting that trail hip to load. So I'm gonna grab my stack system. Obviously, be careful with the different weights. What I'll do is I'll make a one-arm swing to the top, pause, and then before I start down, my goal is to sit into that hip, okay? So I'm gonna go to the top, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna go to the top, and I'm gonna sit, okay? Now, a lot of times, if this is my specific focus, I won't even make a through swing. It's something to where we wanna make sure that as we're getting to the top of our swing, that right hip is actually moving back and down. This will also help prevent early extension, okay? And typically when we see early extension, the golfer lowers in the backswing and then shoots up in the downswing. Wrong. So we wanna see the lowering come through the transition. And usually this will happen a lot easier if you do have a little bit of an upload somewhere in your backswing. Now, as you're doing this drill, I want you to focus not only on getting that hip to lower, but I also want you to feel like your chest is getting close to the ground. And you could exaggerate this as much as you want. As long as the body continues to turn in the backswing, you can feel your hip and your chest reflexing. Uh, and the good news is the more you rep this out, the more it's gonna get embedded into your central nervous system. So you're gonna be a lot more aware of what the body needs to do through the transition, purely through repetition. Again. So ultimately, there's a lot of advantages to making sure that your body is lowering through the transition. So give this move a try and obviously leave some feedback below. Let us know if by implementing this move into your swing, it helped you off the course, if you know what I'm saying.